A dragon springs from that. For twenty days exposed in horse dung, he'll devour his tail till nothing is left of it. This dragon's name is Ouroboros. He is white to see, his skin is spotted, and his form and shape are very strange. At birth, he was produced out of the warm, wet substance of mated things. The close embrace of male and female kind, a union clasped and working in the sea, brought forth this dragon. As I said, a monster blasting all earth with flames. With all his might and armour shown, he swims until he reaches a site within the currents of the Nile. His glistering skin and his engirdling hands are bright as gold and shine with points of light. Then seize and slay with skilful art this dragon there in the sea, and quickly wield your knife, too edged with heat and moisture. And when you've cleft his carcass through, Lift out the gall and take its blackening form that's heavy with earthly bile. From it ascend great clouds of steaming mist, which, when they've risen dense enough, can bear the dragon from the sea and lift him up to a warm station. The air's moisture upholds his light and shape and form. Be cautious then, don't burn his substance. Rather change its nature with quenching draughts. Pour out the mercury into a gaping arm, and when its stream of sacred fluid ceases flowing, wash the blackened dross of earth away with care. So, when you've brightened what the darkness hid inside the dragon's entrails, you will bring an unspeakable mystery to light. For there... Extremely bright and lucid it will shine, and tinged throughout with perfect white, will stand revealed with marvellous brilliancy, its blackness changed utterly to white. When cloud-scent water flows there, it cleanses each dark and earthly stain. Thus easily he frees himself by drinking nectar, though he's quite dead, and all his wealth he outpours for mortals. Abundantly, the earthborn are sustained in life when they have found at least the wonderful mystery, which being fixed will turn to silver, dazzling bright and kind, a metal purified of earthly stain, so shining clear and marvellously white. Then sees again the dragon changed to white, a change divinely achieved, as I'd have told, by means of whitening twice performed. Again kill him with a knife of fire, draw all his blood which gushes blazing hot and red as flame, glittering as it ignites. Then dip his skin into the blood that spurted from the wound deep in his belly, as you would dip in dye of murex purple a whitened robe. You'll gain a shining glory lustrous as the sun, of noble form and gladdening the heart of mortals who behold its excellence.